Okay, in this video we'll derive the probability generating function of Poisson distribution. When we derive the probability generating function, all we have to do is just to do a sum of probabilities times uh, z to the power of the integer associated with this probability. Okay, this may sound complicated at first, but there's nothing uh, really complicated in that. Uh, let's remind ourselves about probability mass function of the Poisson distribution. It's just this expression here where i stands for the integer um, and uh, lambda is just um, mean. Support of Poisson distribution uh, ranges from 0 to infinity so in theory any number, any discrete integer, positive integer uh, from 0 to infinity can be um, replaced here to find the associated probability. Okay, so let's apply this formula. Um, here we're just saying probability that our variable i is 0 times z to the power of 0, probability that our variable um, i is 1 times z uh, to the power of 1, etc. And here we are just using the probability mass function to find the, the p0s, p1, p2s and p3s because we are just plugging in 0 where um, in this formula here we have i and this is our probability and we just times it by z to the power of um, the integer associated with this probability. So if here we are finding probability that our variable is zero, then we have to time we have to times it by z to the power of zero. But straight away we are actually encountering a problem because uh, we could ha be doing this forever, this expansion forever, simply because the support of Poisson distribution ranges from zero to infinity. So is there a smart way of reducing this expansion here to something kind of more more meaningful? Okay, when we're in trouble with series, we always we can always rely on Taylor expansion, and Taylor expansion basically says you can represent a function as the derivative of this function, evaluated at point A divided by n factorial where n stands for the nth derivative yeah and uh, then you ha also have to times it by x minus a to the power of n so let's for instance expand e to x in Taylor series okay so that's very easy we just take the derivatives and then divide it by uh, n factorial so the, f to the zeroth derivative would be uh, obviously here a uh, 1 because any derivative of e to x is actually e to x, so the first, so the zero derivative is just e to x uh, evaluated at x equals zero, and e to zero is one. Then next one is just obviously the first derivative, second derivative, but it's always going to be one. So the purpose of this expansion was to try and see if we can actually uh, find a similar. Uh, expression for this for this series here, right? So the question is, can this expansion here be equated to the the series uh, the series representation here? Actually, um, it looks similar, but um, unfortunately, there is still a few terms missing. For instance, we don't have lambda, and uh, it looks like that uh, we've got a different variable. We've got x here. And this expression here has z, and then we've got this expression as well, which is e to the power of minus lambda. So let's see how we can play around with our function. This one, we start with this one. Let's see what we can add to this function uh, to get closer to this expression here. So in the first instance, we add lambda to the power, and we can see great, it actually returned us uh, the lambda. Um, to the appropriate power, okay, and then obviously we in the next step we uh, change the variables from z to x. The reason why I'm changing the variables, I can I can do that is because my function is defined uh, is a function of z, so probability generating function is a function of z. So here uh, I replaced um, x with z because um, my function is a function of z. So having this expression, okay, I arrived at something really, so here, look at this, and it's really similar to, to that one here, to one above, um, with one probably exception, we still don't have this e to negative lambda. But let, let's look closer at, 
at our expansion. Let's see if we can take, we can find a common uh, common factor. And it looks like e to negative lambda is actually present in every element of the series, yeah? which means that I can pull it in front of the series expansion. And now let's have a closer look. This here is exactly the same as this here, except for obviously we pulled out this bit here. Okay, but what's this expression here? What's 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 this what's this term here? Well, this is e to the power of z at times lambda because we just proved it by, by Taylor series expansion. We proved that this here is equivalent with that here, and it follows that we can express a Dix expression as e times z to lambda. Okay, and by doing so, we actually derived uh, the probability generating function in a neat format, i.e. probability generating function of Poisson distribution is e to the power of minus lambda times e to the power of z times lambda. I mean, I've got it here uh, written neatly, e to minus lambda times e to the power of z times lambda is the same as e to the power of lambda times z minus 1. Okay, so mission accomplished. It was quite painful, but finally we got there. Uh, we derived the probability generating function of Poisson distribution. In the next video, I will show you what we can do with this probability generating function in term terms of moment uh, derivation. Thank you.